who deserve the honor, yet their achievements are unknown to so many of us. That's why Monumental Welsh Women was set up, by a group of women who decided it was time to fill in those blank spaces on our streets where the women should be, so that their stories could be told, and girls as well as boys can grow up seeing that their hands and their minds can also shape history. Woo! These streets might look a bit different from Betty's time, but nevertheless, around here, she'll have done all the things that we do. She'll have caught the train over there. She'll have gone shopping over there. She'll have met friends. But that's not all that Betty did. She worked and campaigned and broke through the invisible restrictions that had tried to keep her small. And in breaking those boundaries, she created more space, not just for her own achievements and ambitions, but for the rest of us as well. Betty was clever, and she had the spirit and courage of a pioneer. When that hurt, Betty said the injustice made her weak, but it also made her determined. Determined not only to become the first black head teacher in Wales, but to become the kind of teacher who would lift up her pupils. She educated them about it. She equipped them to fight it. And she led by example, becoming an internationally recognized figure in the battle for racial equality. mariner and poet Cranogwen, the suffragette and publisher Lady Rongba, the self-described agitator to improve the health of women and children Elizabeth Andrews, and Elaine Morgan, the television screenwriter who upset the evolutionary science apple cart. The work of honouring these hidden heroines of Wales has only just begun, and it's overdue. The monumental Welsh women group will see statues erected to all of them. Five statues in five years. They will be visible examples to girls all around Wales of what ambition, determination and self-belief can enable them to achieve. And just as she did in life, Betty Campbell is leading the way. I really can't wait for all of you to see the extraordinary monument from the very talented sculptor Eve Shepherd. It's a breathtaking work and a wonderful tribute to Betty.
day and captured not just in statue, but in the values we live and teach every day in Cardiff. Today I also want to pay tribute to the monumental Welsh Women's Group, led by the indomitable Helen Molyneux. Good morning to you all, and what an honour it is to be here today on such a joyous occasion. Of course, we can say it again and again, we must, the first black head teacher in Wales who was an inspiring leader, trailblazer in education and public life, whose formidable statue, thanks to Eve Shepherd, we unveiled today, and we unveiled it with her family, her friends, and funders and supporters, Senate member and minister, over the years that we knew each other, those words to me resound today. And they'll continue to do so because her words of advice were also words of challenge, but they were always warm, strong, and were full of wisdom. And that's what Mrs. Campbell, Betty Campbell, uh, gave to us, wisdom, strength, Warmth of commitment. I've been thinking, I've been thinking so often. We need this statue of Betty Campbell in the heart of our capital city. We need this statue for thousands to see every day, every year. And for our children, our grandchildren, visitors, as well as passengers from train and bus and foot. People from all over Wales and all over the world will come here, they'll head for this statue, to learn about what we believe and stand up for in Wales. And it's embodied in what Betty stood up for, our nation of sanctuary, diversity and hope. So I know that um, Betty was so proud to hear of Rachel, uh, what Rachel's doing, our black history, Ambassador, and we're just moving into, I mean, it's Black History 365 now. It's not just Black History Month, it's all the year round. Um, and I know that you'd be so proud of the work that's been carried out. Following memories of my visit to the St. David's Day I still thought, at Mount Stewart Primary School in 1994, when I saw at first hand the immense respect and affection in which Betty Campbell was held by all who knew her. That hard-earned respect was the result of her determination to overcome any and every obstacle she encountered and say, Dior or Dalla. Hi, I'm Natasha Ashton, first woman of colour elected here to the Welsh Parliament, and I'm absolutely honoured to be here today to talk a bit about Betty Campbell. Something that is long overdue. Betty Campbell's powerful statue is especially timely in the light of the Black Lives Matter movement and the debates over what statues can signify. Betty faced prejudices based on her race, her class, and her gender. After winning a scholarship for a predominantly white and middle class school in Cardiff, when she had the temerity to suggest to her headmistress that she would like to teach, she was told the problems would be insurmountable. But the sculptor Eve Shepherd has chosen some of my lyrics to include on her statue of the inspirational community leader and Wales's first black head teacher, Betty Campbell. To see that Wales is honouring a real Welsh woman through a statue for the very first time. And what a tremendous Welsh woman to pick. A leader who changed the lives of so many children through being an exemplary teacher and school principal. I hope the occasion goes tremendously well and my congratulations to all who have been involved in getting us to this historic moment. She's currently the Future Generation Commissioner's Poet in Residence and I'm very excited to tell you that today she's going to share with us a new work, a poem written especially for today's event. Taylor. Hi, thank you so much. It's a real, real honor to be here today and to have written a poem in tribute to Betty for the occasion. The poem is called When I Speak of Bravery. 
and it starts with a quote from Betty that she said during a Women in Leadership conference. And she said, if you're determined to do something, you will do it. And I think my life has been full of determinations. And when I heard her say that, that really catalyzed this whole poem for me. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope that I've captured Betty as she was. When I speak of bravery, for Betty Campbell. Born in Tiger Bay, never left, I hear she was a force to be reckoned with. Called herself a trailblazer, a path curator, constructed school books from scraps to tell the full version of history. Showed her children something true, that they'd always been here, rooted in the soil through wars and riots, carnivals and industry, that they stood powerful, worthy of greatness, never out on their own with Mrs. Campbell fighting their corner. When Betty was told she couldn't, her dreams out of reach for a black girl from Butte Town who should never want too much, never take space, never shake things up, she only wanted harder. A life of determinations, a woman at first, all the while people waited to watch her fail. So she learned to nod her head, say the right things, butter them up to beat them at their own game. Listen close, I hear the streets still call her name after dark. Her school stands flourishing in testament to her story. And if you kick away the loose patches of gravel from pavements, you'll find lockets of her memories. A mother, teacher, mentor, wife, activist, advocator, I'll tell my future daughters about Betty when I speak of bravery. Her legacy goes on, immortalized in clay and stone. Let them come from far and wide to see how just one woman touch so many lives. Thank you. Yes.
grandfather, my mum's dad, dad, he was a merchant seaman who died in the Second World War. Our family is extremely proud and privileged to have our mother remembered in such an iconic and empowering way. To be the first woman, woman of colour in Wales and to have a statue in her honour is an achievement in itself. Betty, our mum, was a person with a determination to overcome barriers to achieve her dreams. First and foremost, she was a wonderful wife, mother, grandmother, and great grandmother. Uh, the family is so incredibly proud of Nan. In fact, it's really hard to put it all in words. And even done an incredible job, no pressure, <laughs> <laughs> um, in, in, in encapsulating all of that. We're humbled and ever so grateful for the historical and amazing celebration of her life that this statue, statue represents. Rachel Elizabeth Campbell tore up the whole book of expectation, redefined the boundaries and possibilities take the way for us to be here today to dream, inspire and achieve. We are hoping, no we are certain, that this statue is just the start of her legacy. So we hope the spark of success she's ignited in all that knew her will continue to ignite a fire in others. That she will act as a catalyst for excellence and her story will continue to drive change, push limitations and inspire others for many years to come. Thank you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you'll agree this is an incredibly impressive piece.